Now, what if you could generate electricity without contributing to climate change, without taking up a lot of land and could help prevent water loss to evaporation at the same time? To the rescue are the floating solar panels already going strong in Asia from India to China. But now developers are taking inspiration from that growth and the technology is starting to spread more quickly in the United States as well. Our next board gets you the details. Floating solar panel farms are beginning to boom in the United States of America after rapid growth in Asia. They are attractive not just for their clean power and lack of a land footprint, but because they also conserve water by preventing evaporation. Duke Energy, the large utility that owns some 11,000 megawatts of generation, is aiming to achieve net zero carbon emissions from electricity production by 2050. And hence, it is launching a small floating solar pilot in Florida. So it's really important to do these innovative projects and test out new technology. We always need to find new ways to have clean energy on the grid. Uh, something that's not as traditional as, as we've been experimenting with or been doing. The concept of floating solar is simple. Attach panels onto rafts so they float on water instead of blocking off land that could be used for agriculture or buildings. The panels are then sealed and they act as a lid that brings evaporation down to nearly zero, a perk which benefits drought-stricken regions like California. The water also keeps the panels cool, allowing them to generate more electricity than their land-mounted counterparts, which lose efficiency when they become too hot. A report by London-based Fairfield Market Research says that the Asia region currently accounts for at least 73% of revenue from floating solar and spearheads the global landscape. Here in the U.S., where we have more land, what we're seeing is where we have population density islands in California and the Northeast and Florida. Those are the hot markets here in the U.S., where again, they don't have land or land is very expensive. But apart from high costs, engineers are working on other challenges. If the solar panels cover too much of a water body surface, dissolved oxygen levels could change and water temperatures will drop, which could harm the aquatic life. Researchers are also looking into whether the electromagnetic fields generated by cables could negatively influence the aquatic ecosystems. A study published in the journal Nature, Sustainability in March calculated that more than 6,000 cities in 124 countries could generate all the electricity using floating solar. In the process, they could save roughly enough water each year to fill 40 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.